Welcome back to Ozark's Foxy and <laughs> Kelly. You know what week it is. I do. It's Family Recipe Week. Ooh, and I yes. look forward to this all year long. <laughs> and look who's joining us, Laura oh, Varnas and her beautiful mother, Tracy. Tracy! So nice to meet you. Nice to meet you guys, too. This is so wonderful. Good to see you. We you had too. to bring her on, Jeremy, because you talk about the recipe from last year that you still make all the and time. I make it probably at least once every two weeks. You made their, your mom's cheesy, cheesy potatoes. potatoes yeah. I substitute the potatoes yeah. with cauliflower. I know you do. And it is so dad gum good. It's yes. so good. I love it. <laughs> so you guys at home might know that I'm local to Springfield, which means I'm fortunate enough to have my family super close by. My mom is stopping in just before she goes to work to help us out. So she's going to, we have two recipes we're going to take you guys through. We have a drink and a sweet snack. So mom, we're going to tell them how to make, and she made, look how cute these are. She made <laughs> laminated recipe <gasps> cards. Oh, I love us. So okay. these are going to go on the web, okay? These okay. are going to go yes. on the web so you mm -hmm. can get these recipes and make them for your holiday. Okay. So the first thing we want to start with though is the caramel honey Puffcorn. Puffcorn. Yes, okay. that's it. Okay. So, Mom, we're going to play the video. We're going to show them what we did last night when we made the puffcorn. Okay. Let's roll it. First, got to take you inside the Barnes household to show you a little uh -huh. bit of Christmas. Oh. <laughs> we're all festive there. Okay, so this is the recipe that we will be following today. So, you start off. What do we got here? Oh, butter. You uh, melt the butter in the saucepan. Two and sticks? Yeah, two sticks is what the recipe says, but as Lauren knows, we threw in an extra because <laughs> And a little more butter, um, and it turned out great. So then you add a uh, half a cup of honey and a cup of brown sugar. No, stir that oh, yeah, all yeah, in, yeah. and bring it to a boil. Then boil for a minute. Yep. Okay. So after it's boiled, we took it aside, added some baking soda, and it just expanded. It does. It kind of oh. blows up. Um, and a lot of people use corn syrup, but um, I love it with the honey. Yeah. So then we have um, sprayed the pan and you add um, three bags of the puff corn butter flavor. And then after you've boiled, you pour the stuff on and you stir, stir it up. Make sure it's evenly coated. Yep. And then you throw it in the oven, bake at 250 for 45 minutes, but you got to take it out every 15 minutes and stir it evenly. Oh, really? Okay. Yes. That's, that's that. Oh, it's super wow. easy. Only the just, end. only just a few, only a few ingredients. Four. That's all. That was because then you just yes. put it on. Is this it yes. right here? Oh can no, five. Yes. Counting the. Can we look at this? Yeah. Get in there. Get I'm, I'm packing. Have, baby. Oh. oh my gosh. Try it. <laughs> can I see if Go I can try it? Yeah. This looks so amazing. Can I have one? I, mm. I mean, oh, I had some last my night, but goodness. we just oh, gotta. Fine. There we go. I'm going to uh, pop them over to Miss Lauren. Oh my gosh. Yes. And to Miss Tracy. It did not all fit in the pan, so um, you we guys have that a little extra. extra. I have never uh, eaten anything yeah. so tasty in my life. You it's like it? so puffy and cloudy on the inside. I love it. I'm going to have to call my mom after the show because she makes something similar, but okay. it, she uses the cheese puffs. Mm. Oh, oh, like Cheetos? Like, but not the, the crunchy ones, the ones that are puffed, the cheese yeah, puffies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She makes something similar, and she just brought some when she was here for Thanksgiving. I gotta ask her if this is a similar type it recipe. Probably, it probably is, because you could use cheese if you really are the type of person <gasps> that likes good. the Look cheese. Look at us, and the we just can't stop with this. This is amazing. addictive. Good, I'm glad you guys it's like so it. It's so good. Okay. It's so easy. The next recipe, though, for the punch is really what goes pretty far back, right? Oh, this yes. is Oh, my gosh. Aunt Horsey's, mm -hmm. um, and her real name is Dolores, but my dad, Lauren's grandfather, could not say Horsey, or could not say Dolores, so he called her Aunt Horsey. Oh. So <laughs> ever since then, it has been Aunt Horsey's. Um, it started out as a New Year's Eve. They got together for New Year's Eve, yep. but it's turned into a Christmas, New Year's Eve um, with... We have it without whenever and, uh, yeah. for Easter, just all occasions, and that's actually good. Someone on Facebook I posted earlier that where we were making Aunt Horsey's Christmas punch, and they asked why my aunt's name was Horsey. So <laughs> yes, I'm, glad, I'm glad you just went through that. Okay, yeah. let's she jump out. She doesn't live on the farm. She doesn't ride I can't stop eating this. Okay, well, go for it. Get okay. your snack. Talk. You take over. We're gonna show you. Okay, this is the recipe for the punch, Mom. That we're showing them right there. The recipe card. It starts with pineapple juice, right? Yes, it does. So um, you pour in the pineapple juice, and then um, as you can see on the video. Video, you add um, orange juice, limeade. This oh. is just pink lemonade. We just pour all sorts of stuff in Juices there. Juices in. We did add some limeade last night just for good color. Yes. But, um, it's not on the recipe, but orange juice. Pink lemonade. Pink lemonade. Lime Don't forget aid. the pineapple juice, which we almost did. <laughs> it, it really makes it. It gives it a very unique yeah. flavor. Yeah. And then this is also a very important part. Yes. Okay. So the cherry Kool-Aid you want to dissolve in hot water mm -hmm. so that it doesn't stick on the bottom of your right. punch bowl yeah. or your mm. container. And then you dump it in um, and stir. Stir. That looks Stir, wonderful. stir, stir. Uh, okay. And then you add Splenda. And it looks like that's all we added. We might have added a couple we of more We might have added a few more rounds like of Splenda. Yeah. 
but Splenda won't kill you. So. Could you no? Sweet. Could you no. use sugar? Or you do can. You, sure. Okay. Absolutely. You can do whatever you'd like. If somebody wants. So that. that's pretty much where we stopped because the next ingredient you have to add, like you can do that ahead of time, and the ginger ale is the next step. You want to add that day of, oh, okay. so that it okay. doesn't so lose that its that it fizz. So that it stays. Yeah. Oh, you fizzy. want the fizz. So I'm gonna help you pour. Absolutely. You want all these, Mom? Yeah. Here we can Let's help you too. Yeah. yeah. There you go, Miss sure. Kel. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's get in there. So three cans of ginger ale probably would work. Three to six. Three. Oh, this is okay. Yeah. And that's the thing, once you drink a little punch, you can add some more ginger ale, make it go a little ways longer. I the like other the thing, that's yeah. Oh, yeah. The other thing that we did, Mom, was we froze some punch. Yeah, and, and that way cubes. your punch doesn't get watered down. So this is right. just frozen punch? Yes. In cubes, and it's adorable. And you add this to the punch. Yes. The yeah. frozen punch to the punch. Yeah, I'm afraid to pour it. I, mean, I don't want to splash, just... I know. <laughs> no, we don't, don't want to waste any punch. super dirty <laughs> and sticky. Love that. That's so And pretty. then the other thing that we okay. say Okay, let's just try it. Let's just oh, do it. Trace, let's just get in there. Wow. Boom! We did it! Yeah. Yeah. Get it, Mama. Get crazy. Oh. Okay, the other thing that we save for the end, we only have a minute left, Mom, okay. so we gotta go oh, quick. Oh gosh, okay. Start throwing them in, you guys. Oh, this is the garnish. Yes, yes. Okay. Oh, you can garnish so with um, whatever. Oh. Lemon, yes. lime, that's gorgeous. cranberries. And the lemon. other thing, well, we gotta, here. Oh, we gosh, gotta, we gotta have you taste it. Oh my gosh, it looks oh, beautiful. Oh, it looks amazing. Someone's getting a cranberry. Ah. Yeah. Kelly likes cranberries. I like cranberries. Thank you. Me too. Jeremy. And the other thing, we're usually vodka girls, but last night we were experimenting and found out that Malibu with a little bit of coconut mm -hmm. is amazing. It so is. if oh anyone, gosh. Jeremy, you want to try that? I you try a splash? I'll put, yeah, put a little splash in there. <laughs> Malibu reminds me of my uh, cruise ship days. So perfect. Yes, okay. More, please. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly's done. Are we gonna do a this is where I'm done. This is yes. where I'm happy holidays. Because if I did, Cheers. from our house to yours. I'd be a lot yes. if I drank. And all of you at home, happy holidays. From the Barnes family to yours. Mama, thank you for oh, being here. Thank you. Thanks for thank having you me. Yes. This is so, so good. I am making this. I am.